Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, uh, we wanna cover how can you add totals to text tables and highlight tables in Tableau. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dive in. We'll build a text table, we'll add some totals to it. We're gonna talk about a lot of the details about formatting and customization. Let's get into it. Um, okay, so first of all, with a multiple measure text table, like in this case, it says, what are our sales profit and profit ratio for each subcategory? Uh, let's go ahead and put that together. So I'll put subcategory on rows. Let me put sales on text. If I want to add a second column that's another measure, double click on that. So if I double click on profit, for example, now profit becomes another column. And then looks like I need to create profit ratio. That calculation doesn't exist yet. So this would just be sum of profit uh, divided by sum of sales. All right, let me do a little number formatting for that. Make sure it's formatted as a percentage. We'll double click to get that out here. Should hopefully be in pretty good shape. Okay, so let's say I wanna add some totals to this text table, all right? What I'm gonna do, uh, my favorite way to add totals to a table is to flip from the data pane to the analytics pane. And then there's gonna be an option here called totals. Um, so in this case, there's just one primary option for us, which would be to add column grand totals which is gonna add you know, an overall total value at the bottom of the table. So in some ways that sort of accomplishes what we were looking for, okay? Um, so you might be wondering like, well, why wasn't there, a, uh, why wasn't there an option to add a total you know, over here? Well, you know, Tableau doesn't really know what to do with these because they're different measures. So it doesn't know if it should add them or average them or how that should work. So the only option available to us was just the uh, column grand totals. All right. uh, those options are maybe a little bit different if we have a single measure text table. All right. Um, so the question here is, what is our sales for each subcategory and region? I'll put sales on text, subcategory on rows, region on columns. All right, now if I flip to the analytics pane and try and drag totals out here, I've got two options. I've got column grand totals or I've got row totals. Um, and I could even do both if I wanted to, right? So uh, let's go ahead and do that totals out here okay another quick way of adding you know both the column and the row grand totals let me go back a couple steps is if i just double click on this totals option here it will add all types of totals available uh, in that worksheet all right so now i've got yeah the totals for each column and the totals for each row kind of nice okay um, so you might wonder could i take a total and move it from the bottom to the top of my worksheet or from the right side to the left side and I would say yes. Um, I think that's a little bit rare that I would do that, but there definitely are occasions. The biggest reason that I might do that is, let's say I have either a long enough dimension or multiple dimensions to the point where the only way the user would see the total is by scrolling down to the bottom or scrolling to the right of the sheet. Um, you know, I think it's in the ideal world, you try and limit the amount of uh, scroll bars that you have in Tableau, but that's only there's only so much you can do about that sometimes the way you have to set up the worksheet, you need them. Um, so if that's the case, that might be a good scenario where you go here. And like in this case, I'll right click on where it says grand total and say column totals to top, right? And now that'll be the first thing that shows up rather than the last thing. Um, the same thing could be true here of my uh, row totals. If I right click there, I could move the row totals to the left, all right? If I want to remove my totals, let's say I'm like, yeah, I thought the row totals were a good idea, but turns out I don't really need those. I can always just do a standard left click on that column uh, or the, uh, the total header and say remove. Okay. Now, so far we've mainly just used the analytics pane, uh, but just so you know, if you want to, you can always use the analysis drop down in your toolbar. And there is a total section there as well, where you can turn things like column and row totals on or off. All right. Uh, next up, let's talk about subtotals. So subtotals, uh, you know, often these will be most relevant when you have two or more dimensions on either rows or columns. So in this case, I've got region, category, and subcategory. Whoops, didn't mean to filter there. Region, category, and subcategory, all of those are on my row shell. So if I drag totals out here and I add subtotals, What's interesting is it's actually gonna add subtotals at multiple levels, right? You can see I've just highlighted some of those here. So on the one hand, there's a subtotal at the category level. You can see that. 
And then on the other hand, there's also a subtotal at the region level. Um, now it's up to you how, if you want all those subtotals, or maybe you say, actually, I only want a region subtotal, not a category subtotal. So once you've added the subtotals to your worksheet, um, by default, it will add them to all the dimensions that are on the worksheet at the time that you drag the subtotal on there. Uh, but you can control this. So for instance, if I hit the drop down on category on my row shelf, right now subtotals is selected. But if I deselect that, the subtotals for the category level will go away, but they will stay there for the region level. Okay. And then just something to be aware of, like if you are you know, bringing fields in and out, I don't know if I have another uh, really good example for this, but you know, let's say I put um, the year, you know, if I put year on my row shelf, now automatically there won't be subtotals for year because I just brought this in you know, after the fact. Um, however, if I want an overall total at the year level, um, if I hit the drop down now because subtotals are already turned on, I could toggle subtotals on for my year field and now I would have a year subtotal. So just something to be aware of, if the field isn't there when you bring subtotals in, it won't automatically have subtotals if you bring it in later, but you can always toggle them on like that. Okay. Now, just something to be aware of with totals in general, regardless of whether it's subtotals or overall totals, what they do is they take their cue from a pill in order to figure out how to aggregate. Um, what I mean by that is in this case, like how did it come up with this 500, 1,000? That is a sum of, or a total of all of my individual sums of sales, right? So if I change the aggregation to this pill, like let's say instead of sum of sales on text, if I switch this to average, now central says 216. What, is, what does 216 mean? That means that that is the average of all of these averages, right? So that's how Tableau totals work by default is they will say, okay, what's the aggregation here? And then it will try and use a similar type of aggregation in the total. Um, now there, there are ways to overwrite that. So if I went to the analysis dropdown on my toolbar and went to totals, you know, for example, I could say something like total all using. Um, and then here I could say, let's say average, for example. So if I switch this to average, this is saying the average subcategory uh, sum of sales is $9,800, right? So if I was to average all these individual values in this column, they would come up to 9,800. Um, now, I think the thing about that is, is if you do something like that, that's not always gonna be super obvious to your user, like that that is an average, it doesn't say average anywhere. Um, so I'll probably recommend changing the label uh, of your total, right? So instead of saying grand total here, I'm gonna right click and format that label. And then again, instead of saying grand total, maybe I will say, you know, subcategory uh, average uh, sum of sales. It's a bit wordy, but kind of gets the point across. Um, or maybe I should just say average, you know, average subcategory sales. Maybe that'd be a better way of saying this. There we go. A little bit less wordy. Okay. So something to think about if you're going to change the aggregation uh, for your totals. Uh, now, as far as formatting totals, I think that could also be a good idea. Um, so just real quick before we dive into that, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, uh, we got Tableau classes that we run every month uh, from beginner Tableau, intermediate, Tableau calculations, Tableau prep. We really believe that nobody should be on their own when it comes to learning Tableau. So if you'd like to join us for that, we'd love to have you. You can check out um, some of those upcoming classes there. Okay. Um, so let's dive into formatting and then we'll look at one or two more advanced topics here in totals. Uh, I think that, you know, totals, the way that they stand out in Tableau is the text is bolded and maybe the background color is slightly different. I think it's just kind of classic row banding though. So if you want them to stand out a little bit more, you know, for instance, I could do, you know, right click on my total label and say format. Maybe I want to do something like change the uh, background color. You know, if I want to make it slightly darker so it stands out more, like that's something, you know, that you could consider. So maybe I need to change both the header and the pane to get those to show up. So for instance, this is the header, and then this is the pane, in case you're wondering what Tableau is talking about with those vocab terms. So I could set the pane you know, to white and just have the header colored, you know, whatever I wanna do. So I feel like something like that is, is maybe kind of a nice option. Um, you know, something to be aware of is, is if you take a text table and turn it into a highlight table, the totals won't be colored by default. So what do I mean by that? Um, 
going back to this worksheet, if I change my mark type to square, and if I put a copy of sales on color, notice that the individual cells are colored like a highlight table in Tableau, but the, the totals aren't. Um, if you do want your totals colored, like in a highlight table, what you would do is go to the color tab in your marks card, edit colors, and then you need to hit that checkbox include totals. So the thing to look out for there is that, um, well, first of all, I don't know. It's I think it's coloring based on the sum of sales for the totals, maybe, instead of just the average. So that's kind of interesting. I have run into that before. But that is something to look out for, that the, uh, the coloring of the totals can sort of skew um, the rest of your colors, right? Like now everything else is just super light blue in relation to, okay, so I, I guess it's uh, it didn't pick up on our overwriting the totals here. So if I went back to totals all using automatic, I think it's coloring based on those values. So anyways, these values are so much higher than the individual values that it's kind of totally skewed our color range. So that is the reason that totals won't be colored by default in a highlight table. But you know, if you want to, you can override that. Okay. And then a really common question I would get is, is it possible to um, have multiple types of totals? So could I have one, a one row, which would be like the sum of sales and another row, which would be like the average sales? Um, so no, that's not possible in a single worksheet, but with a little creativity, um, you could do something like that for multiple worksheets, okay? Uh, with multiple worksheets, I should say. So let me show you what I mean uh, by that. I'll put together just a simple worksheet for our example here. So let's say I've got like subcategory and region and sales. And on the one hand, I want, you know, one row underneath this that says what's the sum of each column. And I want another row which says what's the average of each column. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is do a second worksheet. I'll just call this um, worksheet totals. So the first thing I need to do is to create a calculation, which basically comes up with these numbers. Um, what I mean by that is I'm going to hit a drop down and I'm going to uh, create a calculate field. And I'll call this uh, sales subcategory slash region, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna tell Tableau fixed at the subcategory and region level, return to me my sum of sales, okay? So what I'm telling Tableau is, yeah, there might be 10,000 rows of data in this data source, but there's 17 subcategories, right? There's four regions. So this is gonna calculate 68, did I do my math right there? I think this is gonna calculate uh, 68 unique sum of sales values, okay? So the reason this is important, what I'm gonna do is throw region on my column shell. And then on the one hand, uh, on the one hand, I could just put like sales on text. And so that's my sum of sales at the regional level. And then I'm gonna double click on this one, sum, well, actually, let me show you this first. If I change this to average sales, that's gonna be the average of the row level sales, right? Not the average of these summarized sales at the subcategory level. So that's not really what we want from an average. What we really want from an average is, let me do this. I'm gonna put our fixed sum of sales there. And then I'm gonna select an average of that value. So those averages are, are very different, right? You've got 215, that's your row level, your transactional level average. 29,000, that's the average if you were to average at the subcategory level. That's what this calculation did for us. So I'll drop a link below if you need to learn more about level of detail expressions and fixed and what exactly we're doing there. It's kind of similar to like a group by uh, in SQL. It's allowing us to define the exact level that we want that data aggregated at. So what I'll do here is, uh, let me back out of this a little bit, double click on some of sales here. All right, so I need to edit my aliases. So this will be a sum of sales. And then this alias up here, edit that alias, this will be average of sales. Not perfect, but it'll get the job done. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna right click on the region field on the column shelf and deselect show header. And then what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be a little janky, but bear with me. I'm gonna throw both of these together on a worksheet or in a dashboard rather, both worksheets in a dashboard. Uh, let me set them both to fit width. And then I'm gonna hide the title for that second sheet. So now you can see if I wanna know my average sales for the central region, it's five, or sorry, my average at the subcategory level is 29,000, but the sum of all of those values together is 501,000.
Okay, so this is of course just a very rough cut. You can add more different types of totals if you want. You can format this to look a lot nicer, um, but that's sort of the general idea of how you could have multiple types of totals uh, for a, uh, well, with a sing single worksheet. Uh, so just double check my notes here. I think that's everything that I was hoping to talk about uh, in terms of kind of tips and tricks for adding totals to text tables. I hope this was interesting and helpful um, we drop new Tableau videos like this every single week on the channel, so we would love um, if you want to follow along for that. And we hope to catch you again super soon. So thank you so much, and until uh, next time.